We are doing just some minor renovations to the bus. Just, just some minor things. And this is the current status of it. This is me, Kels. I'm a butterfly. <laughs> and here's my extremely handsome husband, Jay. We've been living and traveling now for almost a year in our converted school bus. And there's some things that we really want to change about it. The time has finally come for us to renovate our tiny home. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to follow along on our journey. So we're now in the third day of renovations and it's a little bit like this. First we rejig the countertop just a little bit to make sure it's perfectly square, ready to receive the new countertop that we got from Ikea. There was nothing really to this, just a few different cuts to make sure it was nice, plumb and square. We got a new That isn't cement, that you wouldn't know isn't cement unless I just told you because it looks like cement. Nice, baby. That's awesome. Hey, you pretty little thing. We're coming along. Looks sick. Let's hope the measurements are correct. I'm going back now. Hold on. Safety glasses. She wants to go in. Okay. It's a bit too tight. I'll just take a little bit. We are doing just some minor renovations to the bus. Minor things, and this is the current status of it. Look how nasty our stove has gotten over the last, past year. You little nasty. Time to clean her on up. It's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> sanding down everything right now. We are about to paint the bottom half of our bus and our cabinets all the same color. So when we're driving and living here, having white paint on the bottom half of our bus, it's not very, what's the word I'm looking for? Practical. That's the word. It's not very practical because it just gets so dirty so fast. I wonder what Pip is doing while we're making all this breakfast. 
<laughs> She's sleeping like an angel. She's just sleeping through the whole thing. Are you just sleeping through the whole thing? You don't even realize what's going on, do you? What? All right, we're gonna call it a day. And tomorrow, we start painting. Morning, day four, renovations. Hopefully the last day. Oh. You just, Jamie just almost wiped down and died. Hey, day four, this is gonna be the last day. We're gonna paint, we're gonna trim, we're gonna sand. We're gonna make this place look spicy. Hey, we're ready for this. All right, let's do this. So while Kelsey's inside getting ready to paint, I'm just cutting a few last minute pieces just to fill some ugly areas. So then, when we get to painting, they'll be there. Jackery has been powering this saw for the whole build. Really impressed by this little thing. First coat is complete. What do you think? We went for a very dark. dark. So now we're running around before we lose light to do the second coat. How do you feel about painting, Kess? I like it. I think it's relaxing. I hate painting. It's like the one thing I can do. And you're very good at it. Thanks, Chad. Alright, love stay in chat, but. I gotta go paint. Taking a break today. It's Sunday fun day. Time away from the renovations and go see some family that we haven't seen in a while. Pippa, you hold down the fort, okay? Still a mess, but we're getting there. We are getting there. This is day five. Mainly just tying up loose ends, putting in trim, rehanging the cabinet doors, making all the little imperfections perfect. Back to doing what I do best. Don't tell Jamie I'm using his screwdriver to mix the, the stuff. He won't be very happy with me.
oopsies. So somehow I cut the hole for the stove a little bit too big. I think it's because I, I have a bit of a a bit of a longer overhang on the countertop than like regular. So the template didn't account for that, but whatever. Um, so I got this piece of flat steel that I'm gonna put under the stove just to cover the gap. I think it should look like it's supposed to be there really. I'm gonna cut that quick. having the right tool. Alright, that's the solution. I don't really know how to secure it down because the camera, I don't really want to like screw it down or anything like that. So I'm going to see how this glue holds up and hey, if it comes off, I'll end up screwing it down. But for now, that's the solution to that. Nice $6 fix. That's what we like. So I don't know if you remember, but before here we had our pegboard. I mean, it was cool, but it just kind of got old having to take everything off and put it in the sink before we drive. So we're going to put something a little bit different up there. blinds from Ikea, they're like five bucks each, they're like the cheapest ones you can get. They're like paper, but Gilligan and Phantom has these and they, they are truly blackout. So I'm gonna see how easy they are to install. The whole time we've been living in the bus, when we open these cupboards, we have to like prop something up in them to allow them to stay open. We've tried like all those hydraulic hinges and things, but I just can never seem to get them to work. But I've seen a lot of people use these. So hopefully this will solve our aching shoulder issue when opening the cupboards. So we are about 90% done with our bus is exciting and we are packing up getting ready to leave tomorrow for a really big exciting trip where we're going to meet up with some people that you may or may not know but before we do that we have one more order of business to do here for my cousin for letting us stay in her front yard for the past week and then another week before that so we are going to do something for her Just kidding. That's enough of the painting montages for one video. Um, we had a few deliveries, and this is one of them. What do you think it is? All right, I'm gonna spare you the glorious unboxing montage. Let's see what it looks like in the bus. Hey, future me here. A little sneak peek of what the bus looks like now. It's done. Um, but here's the fridge all unpacked and in the bus. This isn't gonna be like its final resting place. We're gonna build like maybe like, we're gonna turn this into like a seat somehow. But we'll talk more specs on the actual fridge, freezer in another video. We're gonna do like a little updated tour video coming up to show you all the renovations. So yeah, subscribe, hit the like button. Stay tuned for that video. We're having a baby. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs>